Welcome to Cooking with Brie. What's on the menu? Sausage potato kale soup, just like Olive Garden. Here are the ingredients. You will need one and a half pounds of Italian sausage, mild or hot, whichever you prefer. One large onion diced. Eight to 10 medium red potatoes, boiled until almost tender. Three cups of whole milk, two cups, half and half, one fourth cup of cream, one quart or four cups of low sodium chicken broth. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half teaspoon of red pepper or red pepper flakes, and kosher salt and black pepper to taste. In a large pot over medium high heat, saute the Italian sausages with the chopped onions. Until the sausage is totally cooked, five to seven minutes, drain off the excess fat, then pour the sausage mixture onto a rimmed baking sheet lined with paper towel in order to remove all the fat as much as possible. Wipe the pot clean, then return it to the stove over medium heat. Pour in the milk, half and half, and cream, and the broth. Add the oregano, red pepper flakes, or just plain red pepper, and salt and pepper to your taste. Then add the sausages back in. Bring to a gentle boil, stirring constantly. Slice the potatoes and add them in. Here's a tip. I always boil my potatoes first before I slice them. They seem easier that way to slice. Add the kale. Stir soup gently until the kale wilts and shrinks a bit, just one to two minutes. Then reduce the heat to low. Cover the pot and let the soup simmer for about 10 minutes. Then serve and you're ready to plate. There are different variations you can do with this soup. You can add two tablespoons of prepared pesto to the soup for a nice flavor. Substitute dry wine for a half a cup of broth. Use hot Italian sausages instead of the regular. Or you can omit sausages for a meat-free soup. Add chopped collard or mustard greens along with the kale. And you can stir in one cup of grated Parmesan cheese into the soup just before serving. Don't forget the bread, refrigerator rolls, cheese biscuits, or any crusty Italian or French bread will go great with this dish. Well, I hope you enjoy this second episode of Cooking with Brie. And I also hope that you will try this recipe. This is a very delicious soup and it's one of my family's favorites. Until the next time, my friends, I'll see you in the next video. Smooches!